I can make it long and it'll stay. I can make it short and it'll stay. There we go. And now if we want to release it, we can pull out our little string here. Watch, it's not as easy as you would think. Still tight, we gotta work it loose. There we go. We're using Diamond Raid Poly Rope. Roof work is going on, but rain is also coming. So there's another big hole underneath this tarp. So now we gotta find a system to tighten and anchor the tarp. On the side, we're gonna tie our eyelet to. We're gonna tie in a Venus flytrap. Now this isn't uh, the real name of the knot. It's just something I call it. It's actually a Portuguese bowline or a French bowline. So we'll start with turning in a loop, just like that. We'll take our free end. We're gonna run it through once and then run it through twice. There we go. And now we'll take the end and we'll go around the tree and back down the hole just like we would for a regular bowline. And then tighten everything up. There we go. Should have something that looks like that. Now we'll take our bottom loop, thread it through the back of the eyelet. Our top loop is gonna go through the first one we made. And then we'll take our free end and we'll poke it through, creating a little buckle system. Okay, there we go. Now, if you're worried this is gonna come free, what you can do is create another loop with your free end and then poke it through. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then you'll poke this free end through the first loop that you made to secure it. There we go, all the way through. But really, I don't think we're gonna need it. I guess the storm is gonna prove me right or wrong. So I'm just gonna leave it just like a regular buckle, just like that. Now we gotta measure our distance. We'll go all the way over here to this gutter anchor there. And we're gonna take that same length going back towards our loop. There we go. Okay, our first section of rope goes from the eyelet all the way over to the anchor gutter right there. And I'm just gonna grab the halfway point. And here I'm gonna tie a loop. Here we'll tie a special loop. If you know its name, leave it in the comments. But we'll start by making a complete loop there. This on the left is gonna go down. And then this loop on the right is gonna go through. There we go. Let me know if you know the name. Next, we're gonna take our end of the rope and we are going to pass it through, creating a little sliding loop here. There we go, you can see how that looks. Now we're gonna take this part and this is what's gonna go around our gutter. Okay. okay, here's the whole system here, anchored in there. We've got our loop, we've gone around the anchor and now we're gonna tie another Venus flytrap on this side. Okay, now this loop here, I'm going to buckle into with the end of my rope. Might be a little difficult for you to see. Same way I did the tarp through the grommet. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna pull my free end here and you can see I'm snaking through my tackle. There we go. And the beauty of this system is wherever I adjust this, it stays because we have equal tension going in all directions. Okay, I can make it long and it'll stay. I can make it short and it'll stay. Same thing on the other side. See, we're loose right now, but we can take this end and pull it tight. There we go. And now if we want to release it, we can pull out our little string here. Watch, it's not as easy as you would think. Still tight, we got to work it loose. There we go. See how we did. It's the next morning. It's raining. Looks 
Looks like we're good. Let's check our ties. Yeah. So we fared well. So I'm gonna do this thing. 